So this wine, this label, needs no introduction. This is Chateau Valandro. This is 2019 Premier Grand Cru Class A, Saint Emilion Grand Cru, best of the best, premier level wine. Uh, I decanted it already because these <laughs> Valandro wines are just so big uh, when they're young and you know really ageable wines meant to be aged, right? So Valandro is one of those uh, great stories. Started as a garage wine. First vintages were they had an acre and a half uh, a vineyard of property and you know now they're you know w well over 20 but it's still you know a smaller production oh my god um and uh Jean-Luc uh, Tunevan and the uh, family that produces this wine they were sort of the he was known as the bad boy of Saint Emilia and kind of going against the the waves of of uh normal procedures and, and things that were processes that were going on in Saint Emilia and lo and behold you know he's produced one of the, the best most highly rated you know uh, tough to find wines, and we were lucky to even get our hands on any of this vintage, to be honest. But oh, man, <laughs> you can just—I I don't have to get my nose even to here to smell the just intensity and rich, concentrated black, dark fruits. I mean, this is Merlot. It's really amazing the, the concentration that that he can, you know, get from this uh, from this grape. It's a uh, ninety percent Merlot, seventy Cab Franc. Uh, a seven cab franc, three percent uh, cab sole, but you're getting a lot of black currants. You're getting a lot of really, you know, rich cassis. You're getting some beautiful uh, blueberry compote. You're getting some plum. You're getting like this, I don't know, this scorched, you know, earth kind of uh, from the oak. You know, all French barrels, all French oak barrels. Some new, so you're getting some clove notes. Uh, you're getting that. Beautiful sort of mint note, uh, dark chocolate, really dark chocolate, like like chocolate covered cherries here. Wow, just a beautiful nose. That is just super expansive, rich, mouth filling, opulent. Uh, you know, whatever descriptive words you want to use to just <laughs> describe everything that covers every part of the inside of your mouth and tongue. It is just coating. Um, but what's amazing is the acidity is still uh, there. You know, you can tell that there's a little bit of a mouthwatering going on to, to balance out the just powerful kind of masculine nature of this wine. Uh, the tannins are firm and chewy and gripping, but because you know, there's just sort of high levels, elevated levels of everything here, of, uh, of fruit, of uh, tannin, of alcohol. I mean, there's, you know, a good dose of alcohol in this wine, but it's all so well in balance, which is what makes this such an ageable wine. You know, when you have all these levels that uh, uh, kicking on kicking on high, and, and that's what goes on with Valandro. You know, these wines need minimally, you know, five years to soften. They can go decades and just gain such beautiful complexity. So if you choose to drink this one now, young, Make sure you got some some steak, uh, some beef coming off the grill to to match up with it. But you know, I'd lay this this down easily for another five, ten years or more to uh, to see where it's going. But uh, it is just a really special and collectible wine, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Cheers.